Joe Zekas from New Home Notebook. I'm in Lincolnshire today with the Chattering Birds and Helen Weiss. Hi, Helen. Hi, Joe. Good to see you. This is almost like a private backyard here on the balcony, looking into a just trees. That's this uh, this exposure to the building is very private, and conversely, we'll look at another home and that. Uh, exposure offers a complete different environment, so it's more of a parkway and a little village setting. So, you know, you, there's you choices choice. to be there are choices to be had. Let's go inside and look at these terrific models that you have here. All right, this is brand new. As usual with the homes I've seen from you, it's a condo that feels like a single-family home in some in many ways. If this is. You actually have seen this floor plan before, Joe. I it have. was uh, yes, when we were together in the winter, and that's that's interesting because uh, how distinct they uh, because they're completed custom and uh, reflect different taste and different styles. Uh, even if it's a a repetition of a floor plan you've seen, you may not recognize it, and they have different furnishing options for sure. And this feels like a like a great family room, uh, and we've discarded the living room that you'd have in a single family home that nobody lives in anymore. We just, uh, this is plan A, it was the signature plan, is the signature plan of Lincolnshire Place. It's, uh, it's large, it's an 1800 square foot, two bedroom, two and a half bath. And if uh, I remember right, and I, I'll head into the kitchen because you had a very unique feature in these homes, which was a nook, and I see one here. That's right. People have loved the creation of that space for a small home office, for a place to get work done while they're cooking a meal. Uh, the laundry room is behind it. Of course, we have a full laundry room. Uh, when, we do a, when we talk about an 1,800 square foot two bedroom with a nook, all the sizes are very large. Closets, living, dining, and I love this kitchen. It's one of my favorite kitchens. And we're also actually uh, demonstrating new product from Kohler. That's a new design sink they just brought out. Uh, and faucet, we love being an all Kohler builder. Uh, we love the, the association that allows us to keep demonstrating new. And new construction is about new design and best quality, so. So tell me, you're, you're, uh, you're a pro at this. Uh, tell, me what, tell me what you like at the, about the kitchen, for, from your perspective, what, the, what makes the kitchen function well? Well, the, the triangle, the true triangle that any chef will tell you they need so that you're only two steps from whatever function you want to accomplish and still not cramped. Two, three, four people can be in this kitchen. It is the heart of a home now. Uh, you can see the counter space is is great. We're an all Gen Air builder. These are, Joe, this model is a standard installation. This is what your money buys you at Lincolnshire Place. So this beautiful granite, not granite, but this incredibly new uh, design and style. The slide in appliances from Gen Air, uh, sound insulation, stainless steel interior, uh, uh, dishwasher, it's it's uh, all quality of the experience in the kitchen. It's a space that's large enough to entertain pretty well in, have a nice size party here. Oh, people do, absolutely do. People about uh, close to half the building has now moved in and uh, I've seen a number of uh, people entertaining in their home. I've been invited to a lot of to a lot of people's homes, and I've taken uh, some of them up on it. Uh, you have a breakfast bar as well as a dining area. The buffet is over here. This is also versatile. I've seen it furnished a number of different ways, but this is certainly uh, this is certainly meeting the needs of most people. Now, this is the smallest unit we have here. At 1,800 square feet, Absolutely. is your smallest unit? This is the smallest. That is uh, something unique about Lincolnshire Place, small unit count, only 62 units in two separated buildings. A terrific size master bedroom here. So, you know, what small the, unit the, count and... What are the dimensions of this rooms. room? It's, it's large. 
Yeah, well, a master bedroom, when you come into a condominium and you do one level living, is such an integral part of a house now. I mean, uh, I'm not surprised. I've heard of breakfast in bed. I'm sure people are having dinner in bed <laughs> <laughs> now. Because it's, you know, you can live in this room. There's stools to sit on and change your clothes. Of course, you know, Joe, that we hit, waste development hits the closets harder than anyone in the industry because our client wants closets and they want his and hers and every master bedroom has his and her closets. He actually gets one of them? He sure does and in this instance it's not a shoe closet. A large shower? shower Very a large. Terrific steep, steeping tub, large double bowl vanity, Great storage cabinets. Private commode area over here, section off. Nice open feeling in, in the bath here. Pretty much the size people want a bathroom to be. They certainly don't want the living room bathrooms anymore. It's, it's, it's too much. It's excessive and it's too much maintenance. And uh, we're in the industry all the time and for a long time. And tastes change and that's another benefit of new construction. You're not living with outmoded ideas either too small a bathroom or really too big a bathroom. Well you are with some builders because they keep building the same product year after year and it looks like you've been adapting to it. <laughs> we have our style. We have elements we're known for. I would say the closet space we've always been known for it and in every um, and every time that we've been in uh, uh, mid-rise condominium construction. But otherwise, absolutely, you, you, uh, that goes not just for the floor plan, but the exteriors are different. They suit their environment, the You're, architecture. You've had a personal interest in uh, sustainable building also, if I recall, Helen. Well, the whole industry has, and on a personal level... Well, but the industry has it, some of the industry only has it from a marketing perspective where you seem to have a more solid commitment to it. I think that's the way my mother raised me. Waste not, not. <laughs> <laughs> it could be that I've been around long enough to realize that, uh, that it's stupid to be wasteful, really, and that we, we've never, we wanted always to be a better builder. Uh, we always thought we could do we, you know, we're, we're, we're working partners, and I think it's reflected in the product. But yes, uh, when you look at new construction, you should be looking at extremely lower assessments in the future than in existing, uh, and even in some of my own existing, because this is my fourth community in Lincolnshire. I've been building up here 16 years. Let's go take a look at another model. <laughs>